Really looking forward to heading to Erinsborough for oh, the farewell for neighbours tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And she's got a bit of a head start on us. She's been there taking us behind the scenes. And uh, who have you found now, Ange? Well, I'm at Carl and Susan Kennedy's place and um, the person I've found has no business being here. Take a look. See, their pity was my rabbit in the hat. So what are you saying, that I should amputate a limb? That wouldn't be a bad idea. No, look, my sympathy card worked a charm for me. It'll work for you too. <laughs> what have I done that warrants Carl's sympathy? All I've done is lie to him. Yeah, and he believed you every time, right? So why stop when you're on a good thing? Because it has to stop somewhere, because Susan knows about the baby, and if I don't tell him, then she will. So you tell him, but with a little twist. Um... <clears throat> Oh, so, oh. Uh, yeah, I am with uh, the one and only Izzy Nat Bass. Hi. Still, still, cause you, this is the wedding photo of Carl and Susan. I know. How does it be? There. <laughs> <laughs> shouldn't be there. Like, what is, what, what are we doing in here, actually? Oh. Maybe this is my new home. My, oh, plot twist. <laughs> is Izzy making more trouble? Yeah, it's so fun. I mean, when they asked me to come back and then I got the storyline, I was like, 100%, <laughs> hell yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, what do you remember about when Izzy first came on board? I mean, apart from her just blowing up the place, what are, what are some of the things you remember most? Oh, my gosh. Well, I didn't remember that it was Carl's baby for a second. I was like, whose baby did I have again? Who was that? <laughs> we just, like, clearly it was a long time ago. Toad's orcs. Yeah, I know. I was like, guess what? It was Carl's baby, yeah. uh, note to self. Um, it, I was here 20 years ago, so, you know, lots happened since then. Um, but, look, it's been it's been a wild ride back then. It just, I mean, working with the people like Jackie, who is just so incredibly, by like Susan, giving so much love and energy to every single cast member that comes in here, mm. brand new, freaking out, even to this day. Like, she just lights up the space. Um, Alan and I are just still best buds. We have been forever. Stefan and Ian seeing Ian Harold is just wild. Oh. I just, I mean, all of it. And the crew and the directors are the same. I mean, everyone's been here for a long time. <laughs> so the emotions must be really, really oh, running high. It really is. Like, I mean, obviously I've just come in for, oh, I better not tell you how long, but I've come in for a bit. Um, Enough to make some big waves, I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but, yeah, there are every day someone's last day. It's actually my last day today. Oh. So it'll it'll be a bit teary, the last one, and, you know, just having a look around because everything's exactly the same. Anything you want to pinch? Anything you want? Maybe the wedding photo. I'm just going <laughs> to take this and sleep with it by my bed. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> really weird. Yeah, totally yeah weird. no. Um, uh, you, I mean, you are the world's busiest woman. It's great that you were able to come back because you you started in the musical Jagged Little Pill and that's coming back to Sydney, right? It is. So excited. I feel like it was such a big show um, and the response we had was so epic and gorgeous and I can't wait to do it again. Can't you, wait to get back on stage. You've never seen people leap to their feet as fast <sighs> with the standing ovations in that show. And on top of that, your band, the Rogue Traders, are playing at the Logies. How long since you guys have played? Um, a, a long time, <laughs> about three and a half years. I was listening to the songs the other day and I thought, ooh, I better work out those lyrics again, <laughs> forget how they go. It's exciting. I mean, obviously everything was shut down during COVID mm -hmm. and just the opportunity to get back up and do it again is going to be fun. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, I think being part of Neighbours is going to be a special part. Of, I mean, you've got this massive varied career. You you do so many things, but I think Neighbours will always be a very special place. Isn't it, oh, 100%. Like I feel so grateful that I got to be a part of this. You know, it's been special for so many, but yeah, it's where I got my first real big break and it taught me amazing work ethic and just yeah how you can like get through so many scenes in one day still astounds me but yeah it's been a very special part of my life. Well on behalf of Susan and all the fans I think it's time you got your hands off Carl. Well wait and see <laughs> We will indeed. Back to you.